My fiance's friend's insane registry. They made a list of the things on the registry. Honeymoon, parentheses, Venmo. Contribute what you wish. $5,000. <gasps> $5,000? We minimum? I don't know. It just, I guess, I guess it was just listed as an option, but that's There's like the no suggested. Way. There's no way. Let's Wait, see. the second one. Honeymoon, parentheses, card payment. Contribute what you wish. 5000 Oh, my credit card? Honeymoon. This is the third one. Honeymoon resort. Why is this separate from the other honeymoon fund? <laughs> that was what the writer wrote. $1,000, <laughs> <comma>, quantity four. <gasps> stop no this this is not real no or, this is crazy or these people are just in in a different bracket like there's no way maybe flights three thousand two months of home expenses three thousand <gasps> wait what delta airline gift cards listed twice a hundred dollars quantity ten two hundred dollars quantity five <laughs> Get your bag. <laughs> Hotels.com gift card, 200, quantity 10. Like, why don't you just say we're not accepting like physical gifts? Like, mm -hmm. but if you want to give us a card, that's very much appreciated. Like, they're... you would use the same, the money for these things. Because they want to make it clear, like, hey, this is what, this is the amount we want. We need for our honeymoon. Legal fees, <gasps> parentheses, it's a, apparently it's an international marriage. Legal fees, $500, quantity five. They're like, we're not getting this legalized unless you pay for it. That is insane. They're trying to really work the system here. This is the background. My fiance is the best man in his friend's wedding. For the sake of the story, let's call the groom Josh. Josh is American and his fiance and her family live in Italy, which is where the wedding will be. No. <laughs> no. Next. Okay, wait. Can we talk about the fact that it's now only acceptable to give, I'm using air quotes when I say this, give a gift to a bride and groom that is like the same price as the plate of food? Yeah, I don't know when that started becoming a thing i think that's so stupid like how am i supposed to know how much my plate of food costs i i don't know i never i don't know that's so stupid to me what if i can't afford that should i just not like i actually saw a tiktok mm -hmm. this was crazy i was gobsmacked <laughs> i saw a tiktok of a woman going on a rant saying that giving the price of the plate is the only acceptable gift and if you can't afford that then you should not go and i'm like wait 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 so you seriously think if let's say 10 of your close friends were like hey i have a lot going on right now and i can't spend 300 dollars." sometimes it's 300 dollars for a plate um, no are we well, like I think I might be biased because specifically where we live in the country, like yeah. New Jersey is like a very expensive wedding state. Like it might be the most expensive. Yeah. And Philly is pretty expensive for weddings. Like we might be an anomaly to this, but someone that I know said at her wedding, the plates are close to $300 a person. And see if you get a plus one and you're a couple or exactly. just bringing a plus one, sure, 300 for two people, that's like, or no, no, but that's a person. Yes, you know, that's not. Yeah. What, I don't think any, do, do people so, do that? Yeah, so <laughs> as like a 22 year old couple, should I be giving $600? Like I don't have $600 no. to give someone as a gift. And even if you do, like I'm not giving it to you. No, I know. <laughs> and that's what this TikTok was saying. Like, so you genuinely think like, let's say some of your closest friends were like hey i have a partner we we're both invited i can't give you 500 dollars. i'm so sorry like i can barely make rent you don't want her to come mm -hmm. to your wedding like right. i think that you would change your mind as soon as that started playing out in real life yeah. unless you're just super super selfish and you want people to pay for your wedding like you want the gifts to equal the price that you're paying for the wedding but regardless you're still i guess maybe not but like most people put the money towards a down payment on a house or like mm -hmm towards like big purchases so let's say you do that you're still out the price of the wedding yeah even if people make up for it like yeah no you should not be planning this is my opinion but i don't think you should ever be planning to use the gifts no. to cover costs of the wedding maybe the honeymoon mm -hmm. if you want to plan it afterwards or something but to try to like make your money back and expect that you're going to get that much in gifts like because what if someone doesn't give it to you are you going to be sol right if like a ton of people don't give you the price of what they think their plate costs like it's also a guess yeah like do you want people to come to you and be like by the way how much was my plate and now everyone's gonna know how much you spent on your wedding like that's fucking weird too yeah it's gotten really crazy out here 
No, I know. Some of these people making these videos on TikTok, I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah. No. And if I got married, I would not expect everyone to give me $600 a couple. Like, that would be so generous. But I would open the envelope and my jaw would fall to the floor. Yeah. If I saw that much money in a gift. Right. Like, crazy. No. Yeah. And if someone ever got mad at me for not doing that or like even $300 for one person, even I'm literally sorry. even $200 is a lot of money. Yes. Like I can't, I can't understand how people think that a gift of a hundred to $200 is just not enough for a gift. Like that's what you're worth to me. And that's what I can afford. Like, right. what do you mean? <laughs> that's what you're worth to me. No. Cause that's so true though. Like why do I have to get, and then that's another thing. What if my best friend got married at like a catering hall? Is that what those things are called? Like catering halls? It's like a more low key place to get married. They just like cater an event. Okay. Okay, yeah. And then what if someone I was relatively close with but not super close with got married at this like five star over the top thing? Mm -hmm. Do I now have to give her more money just because she booked a venue that costs more? Well, regardless of the venue, people do go off of how well you know someone. Right. But then that totally disregards the price of the plate thing. I think I would rather go off of how close I am than the setting. Oh, me too. Yeah. Yeah. That's just like kind of how I live my life. No, me too. That's why I don't agree with the the plate thing. Yeah. Whatsoever. It's getting weird in these wedding streets. No, it really is. Stay safe out there. 